here's how to create this aura effect in Pixel Composer. Let's have a look at our base character. That's Goku from Dragon Ball. He definitely is one of my favorite characters of all time, so I figured he fits the show tutorial perfectly. To make life easier, you can import your A-spread file directly into Pixel Composer. The first way to create an aura effect is to use the noise nodes. Create a cellular noise node by right-clicking and typing the name of the node. Start by changing the size of the node to fit your initial image. After changing the scale of the noise, we can animate the noise movement. But make sure you have the very first frame in the timeline selected. And click on the animation icon of the position attribute. Now let's move to the last frame of the timeline and change the Y position in the noise node. Something like minus 128 works perfectly fine for an upward movement. I also like to add a little bit of movement on the X axis. Make a copy of a noise node and change the scale to an even higher value. You can also change the positions of your node, which will be useful later. Usually I change the contrast in the middle of the noise nodes as well. The magic happens when we add a blend node. Overall, the blend node is the MVP for this effect. Let's blend both nodes with a multiplayer mode. This method can be used as a base for any effect. Biting a black and white node and changing the brightness, we get this result. By adding a gray to alpha node, we can easily get rid of the background. Let's add the color with the colorize node. Simply click on the gradient and replace the white color with the aura color. This effect is already pretty cool, but we still have to give it its form. Again, we need the MVP, the blend node. I painted the shape in A-Sprite before. With the multiplayer mode, we can cut off the area which is transparent. The only thing left is to add the aura to Goku. Once again, the blend node can do that. Connect Goku to the foreground and the aura to the background. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like my content. Also, let me know in the comments if you want to see how to create a different type of aura effect.